Okay, here's a peek inside the homesteading planner. This is more like a daily um, organizer planner. Start off with your goals. Make sure that you have direction for the year, and then we're going to break it down by month again. These are personal goals. There is a checklist at the beginning of every quarter um, winter, spring, summer, and fall to kind of help you get ready for the next. The next season coming up. These are just simple suggestions. There's lots of room here for filling in whatever you can think of and need. Below is also kind of some, a little bit more about just the kind of tasks you need to be thinking about for the upcoming season. Decluttering is a perfect time for that. So here's a more list. Every month has a beginning big monthly overview you can use for your schedule, your appointments. I use it for various things. I actually keep a schedule on my phone of appointments and then use the daily calendar portion for planning things out in my different groups just to keep me organized. Weekend. This is actually a weekend view since you know, it starts on a weekend. You have a meal plan. Again, just helping you keep organized. Some simple to-do lists because there's always something to do. Especially when you're on a farm or you're running your own side business. Personal care. I don't know about any other moms, but I tend to forget some things like I should probably take a shower today or make sure I drink enough water or take some time to just be by myself. I can now write it down here instead of it getting lost in my big to-do list. And you still have your schedule of events. The daily, then each weekday has an entire page all to itself. So that's how it's going to look. You have more space for water intake, personal care tasks, break it down by your errands. Um, I am often the gopher, gopher and have lots of errands to run, whether it's the town or the feed store or wherever. Um, calls, emails, the current planner I have, I love the format of it, but my calls and emails were always getting lost in my big to-do list. So I still have space for your schedule, more notes, meal, meal plans your business to do's. A lot of people are running side hustles these days. I know I do. I also have stuff to do for the farm, stuff around the house, just different things that I need to accomplish throughout the day. Now I can break it out more into the categories and they don't get lost in the scribbles. That is that. And that repeats for every day of the month. All the way to the end of the year. Find. The emblems do change every month to kind of help you keep track of where you are so you don't accidentally open to the wrong page. Here's an example of the summer to do's list. Again, there's one in here for spring and fall. I passed the fall one. Again, just keeping you ready for the next season coming up. This is a perfect planner for entrepreneurs, moms, farm wives, um, people wanting to homestead, just because it does lay out that option of the breaking things out by your business and also just keeping you with your schedule and still giving you ample space to scribble on the margins or in the blank white spaces and write extra notes as needed. That's the book.